stretch. So sitting upright with your legs just as wide as the mat. Imagine the spine is up against a brick wall. The fingers are on the floor in front of you with straight arms. The feet are flexed and pulled back with the legs upright. We call this one the yellow pages stretch because you let your fingers do the walking. Taking a breath in, breathe out, curl the chin forward and walk the hands with straight arms. Hold halfway, breathing in, don't move. Breathe out, walk further, as far as you can, reaching your chest towards your heels. Breathe in, press the hands into the floor. Breathe out, engage your beeline to curl up, reaching through your fingers as you're curling up, one bone at a time, lengthen through the crown of the head. Breathe in, sitting tall. Breathe out and curl. Hands on the floor, walk halfway, hold for the breath in into the armpits. Breathe out, lengthen further, getting the chest right down as far as you can. Breathe in, press the hands into the floor. Breathe out and curl up using the beeline as much as you can, all the way upright, breathing in tall, breathe out, walk all the way this time. Reach down as far as you can, press through the heels as well, breathing in. Breathe out, use your beeline to come up, Mel, keep your head down, that's it, curling up, all the way up, and breathe out one more, curling down, curl over a beach ball, and then reach forward, pressing through your heels, pull your toes back, Holly, that's better, Engage the beeline to come up, curling up one bone at a time, all the way into an upright position, and relax. Keeping the legs in this position, we're going to go into the saw. So, taking the arms open out to the sides. We're going to take a breath in to start, going over right hand to left foot. Take a breath in first, breathe out, turn, reach forward, and just a one saw, and come back upright again and turn and breathe out, reaching forward. Breathe in to come upright, and turn, breathe out, looking at the back hand. Great. If you can't reach the toe, don't worry about it, just get to the knee or wherever you can. Make sure that the hips stay square on the floor so there's no hip movement up and down. Deep breath out, reach across, lengthen through the crown of the head, press through the heels. Breathe in to come up, breathe out, stretch forward, reaching forward as far as you can, turning the rib cage. Breathe in to come up. This time we're going to go a little further with a double beat. And <sighs> breathe in to come up. So we're going far further. You're not going halfway and then more. You're going as far as you can and then further on the second breath. And breathe out. <sighs> this is called saw because you're trying to saw off your little toe with your little finger. Great. And one more each side. And rotate from the ribcage. Look to the back hand, making sure you're taking the back hand up to the ceiling to the wall behind you, reach, and come upright, and relax. Okay, we're going to go onto our stomachs now to do swimming. Okay, this particular exercise is coordination, and also to work the back muscles. So, we're going to start with just the legs first. Lifting the legs just slightly off the ground, and breathe in for five beats and start. In for five and out for five. No pressure of the arms on the ground. Keeping the beeline engaged all the time and squeezing the beeline from the sides. When beating with the legs, do so from the hamstrings. Therefore, you won't feel too much pressure in the joints if you lift from the feet. The feet shouldn't come any higher than about six inches off the ground. If they come any higher, you'll feel pressure in the back. This time, we're going to use the arms as well. Keep continuing the beat with the legs and engage the arms. In, two, three, four, five, sigh, two, three, four, five. Deep breaths in, and deep sigh out. <sighs> deep breath in, Martin, if you can bring your head up slightly. That's it, lengthening through the crown of the head. We're going to make this a little bit more effective by adding a percussion on the breath out. So in for five, and <sighs> Good, keep breathing, and percussion. Once again, it's like laughing and getting those muscles engaged. Not too high. Two more breaths, in through the nose, deep sigh out of the mouth, and rest. Come back up, sitting on your haunches, we're going to go into the cat stretch. Just a little bit of a stretch out. Anytime you do any hyperextension work or extension work on your spine, it's a great idea just to stretch out and let it relax. Okay, let's come up onto all fours, and we're going to do the cat stretch. Now, I'll just demonstrate with Martin here what previous cat stretches have been like, which have been taken out from yoga centuries old. The problem today is that we're rounding too much on the shoulders, and this is what the cat stretch currently is, where you're hunching up. Okay? 
This is the problem with most people anyway. The shoulders are too rounded. So what we're going to do here is we're going to keep the neck long, keep the upper back flat, and we're going to tuck the pelvis. So what you're actually doing is stretching the tight lower back muscles. These are the tight ones. So breathe in to go back to your start flat position. Breathe out, engage the beeline and tuck. Deep sigh out, want to hear you breathing. Breathe in, release just back to flat or just below. Don't let it sag. Breathe out, tuck. So you're drawing your beeline in as hard as you can to the ceiling. Breathe in, lengthen. Breathe out, tuck. That's it. You're drawing your hip bones towards your rib cage. Breathing in, release slightly, and breathe out, tuck. Now what I'd like you to do to engage those abs more is squeeze the inner thighs together. And squeeze the inner thighs as you tuck. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Can you feel that more? Great. Breathe in, release. Keep squeezing those inner thighs. And breathe out and tuck. Great. And release. And tuck. One more. Squeeze those inner thighs. Shoulders down into the pocket. And relax. We're going to lie on the back now and do the perfect abdominal curl. On this exercise, we want to keep the knee at a right angle. So taking the feet away, bring the knees together and the feet together on this exercise. Most people, when they do this exercise, place your hands behind your head now. Curl forward, breathing out, and then bring your elbows forward, and then go rest down all the way and come up again, throwing yourself up. This is how it's commonly done. Stop. <laughs> Enough. What we're going to do here is we're going to work on the abdominals specifically. Now, in that position, most people raise their head and shoulders to engage the abdominals. We're going to engage the abdominals to raise the head and shoulders. So keeping the elbows wide open, keeping the tailbone on a coin so you're not pushing up with the feet when you're doing the movement. So curl up and push with your feet. So you see that lifts up there. You want to keep that nice and flat because if you push up with the feet, these muscles engage. So keep your tailbone down. Great. Take a breath in, everyone. Breathe out and draw your ribs to your hips. And that's what brings you forward. Shoulder blades just off the ground. Breathe in, go back only 10%. Breathe out and ribs to hips more. So you're not releasing fully. Breathe in to go back. Breathe out, ribs to hips. That's it. Close the gap. Breathe in, 10% back. Keep your eyes on your knees. And now dorsiflex your feet. So pull your toes back. You should feel that a lot more in the lower abs. Squeeze the inner thighs, and you should feel that even more. Right, Martin? Good. Keep the ribs to the hips. And again, ribs to hips. If you feel your neck, relax the shoulders down and towards the pocket. 10% back. Curl forward. Two more. Breathe in to go back. And deep sigh out to curl forward. That's it, as far as you can. Last one. Keeping the chin off the chest. Elbows wider. And relax. The next exercise is a follow-on from the PAC. It's called roll-up. If you can't do the roll-up, then keep working on the PAC, the perfect abdominal curl, or do the partial rollbacks that we did earlier. So in this position here, some of you can have your knees bent with the feet flexed, and some of you can have your legs fully straight on the ground. So Martin, if I can have you straight. Mel, if I can have your knees bent, please. Okay. The arms are above the head. We're now going to bring the arms all the way down to the thighs, breathing in and lifting the head slightly. So breathing in to bring the hands down. Keep flowing, breathing out. Ribs to hips, curling forward, all the way forward. Reach, Martin. I need you to reach, stretch. Take a breath in to release back a little bit. Breathe out, sink down. Now all the way, reaching forward, looking into the hips as you go down. Arms above the head, pressing through your heels. Breathe in to bring the hands to the thighs. Keep flowing, breathing out. No jerky movements, no speed. And deep breath out to sink. One bone at a time, Holly. Tuck, 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 tuck. Squeeze the knees together as well. That's it. And breathe in to bring the hands to the thighs and ribs to hips. Ribs to hips, scooping out. The deep breath out really assists you on this movement. We've got three more. Nice and slow, deep breath out, tuck, 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 one bone at a time. If you're doing this exercise correctly, you should be able to stop at any point, go back up, and go back down again without causing a problem. If you're lifting, you need to do more PACs. So you don't want to bring the back up as a stiff board. And tuck, slowly going down. And slowly all the way back. Last one, breathing into the thighs and curling up all the way and just sitting upright. Now we're going to do rotation. So extend the legs out in front of you. 